What's up guys, it's me Nintegi Gamer. Welcome back to some more Kirby's Return to Dreamland. And in the last episode, we started Cookie Country, and in today's episode we're doing stage three of Cookie Country. Ooh, new power! Well, not a new power to the Kirby franchise, but new power for us guys. This is Spark. Think of it as electricity. Basically, when you hold one, you stand in place, and you do exude this electrical charge around you. Anything that touches that pretty much gets zapped. The other neat thing about charge, or following the electricity, is that if you run around and build up static electricity, you have this pretty much, you pretty much get an invincibility shield. The only thing is, as you can see, by me just not doing anything, it will eventually go away. And now it's gone. And we're about to charge it. But anything is, as we charge it up, you have those little spark flares. And you shoot a little, little, little top here. Charge it up to level 2, you shoot the medium sized shield. And if you charge it up all the way, you shoot the entire shield. Now, the thing is, you don't just have to run frantically. If you shake the weird remote and you're gonna stand in place, Kirby will do that, as if, you know, he's doing this attack. But the thing is, you can shake the weird remote in place and pretty much build up this infinite shield. So this could be a really OP power. They were, and I can tell you guys, in Triple Deluxe, they really nerfed this thing. Oh, and hey, it looks like they actually want us to use Spark. So, that's cool. You can actually build up the charge pretty fast. I'm just gonna do that. This is gonna be a... No! Crap! Well, I'm gonna be replaying that level. Under the ground there, you can drop down and there's a energy sphere. Well, okay. If I die, if I kill myself here, well, one, we lose spark, and it'll respawn me in this room. So, two. I just missed an extremely easy energy screen because I'm stupid. And it reminded me, the other abilities, if you jump and hold down, you can shoot, an electri you shoot, you shoot electricity under you, and if you hold up and you run, you can shoot electricity above you. So, a lot more versatile than just being able to do that. <laughs> There we guys. Oh, nice, got another one up. Ah, so I guess I'll just have to come get that one on my own. Let's inhale this and get our ability back to. Oh, poop, they want us to shoot it out. Oh, no. I'm actually gonna keep uh, Spark here rather than get fire. Unless I really need to. I don't think I need to get fire here. If I do, I'm gonna be kicking myself in the butt. I can't remember. Here we go, team. Oh, never mind, they want us to shoot it. Alright. I am going to beam properly. Beam is it's also a really old school Kirby ability, copy ability. You hit one, you shoot a beam. No dirt. Hold it, and you shoot a, uh, a, a small one than the sh plasma shield. But I tell you the thing, I can't remember if Spark was originally called plasma or if it was just Spark all the way time. I can't remember. But you shoot it as a, a little smaller Spark shield, an energy beam. Haha. Uh -huh. You dash, you do a little whip with the with the beam, and then if you dash and jump, you do like this overhead uh, projectile move. I think that's all the moves that you can do. Oh yeah, and there's a there's a capture ability when you're close to enemies. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. If you're just close to an enemy and you hit uh, the one button, you can grab them. And also, the neat thing about whip is that it goes through objects. So as you can see. You have to have whip to be able to hit the uh, bomb. So that's one thing's a really cool power. Um, oh, I've the keys over here. Well, that stinks! I'm gonna miss an energy sphere. And also, just to let you guys know, not every stage will have a sphere doom or boss fight. Only a couple stages uh, have that. So also, along with that, only a couple stages have super copy abilities. Not every stage will have a super copy ability. Just so the pace isn't all easy. But it's also funny I can use this to keep some air time. The jump attack. And you're dead. Alright. There we go. Ouch. But in a way, this thing's actually kind of like a whip. Speaking of that, that's actually, I'm just going to say, that's actually another new power introduced into this game, but it's like a 
kind of meh, really, if you want to say. But we'll just leave it at B. And here we have a key chase. Basically, this is a section of these are sections where uh, this a monkey will run with a key. Oh no! Give me back! Give me back my bean! Dang it! Where, where a monkey has a key and you need to beat him before he goes down a suicide path and you lose the key. See, if you weren't fast enough, the monkey will run into the blade knight and it'll destroy the key. No! Wow! Face palm of the days. I can't believe I just did that. And I lose beam. I am an idiot, guys. This is gonna be a fun left play. I can't believe I did that. I'm gonna inhale that blade knight, actually. And this person needs nothing. And also, not every enemy in the game, as you can see, gives you a copy ability. So, only particular looking at me. So actually, if I don't get hit with fire, let's eat this fire guy. Get some speed. Oh gosh. No! No, you son of a- I'm having such great luck with this first second episode, guys, and I can kill. <laughs> yeah. Alright, anyway. Let's try this again. And not get freaking distracted. Oh, stupid thingy. Now let's eat this guy without getting hit. Because I wanted to use the flame dash to go through here. Go, 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 go. Die. And like I said, I will be taking the sword. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is for the last uh, energy sphere. So I will probably actually just cut to where the first energy sphere was in the, in the episode and um, I'll just have to do some cutting so after this goal game I'll cut to where the first energy sphere is and can I get a one yes <laughs> also getting one you get 30 stars and you get the full stage complete theme as you may have noticed anything under one you have a shorter theme that's cool. So anyway guys, I'll see you at the first energy sphere. Okay guys, back over here. You just ride the ladder down, hold down, and bam. That's where the sphere was. That's why I felt like such an idiot. Anyway guys, I'll see you guys at the goal game now. Also guys, I never noted how pretty this background was. Look at that. I gotta say also really quickly before we get to the end of the stage. Um, for this being a Wii game, there are times when the game looks really beautiful. Like that background is just looking so nice. But anyways, to the end of the level. Alright guys, I am now back. So let's see if we can get another one. That would be amazing. And one did son! Like a boss! Or as the amazing Jack Septic guy would say, LIKE A BOSS! Okay, anyway. I am not Irish, so I can't do it as bossy as he would. But anyway, let's go to stage four now, guys. This, depending on without edits, could be a really long episode. I'm gonna stick with sword. Ooh, graves, thank you. The graves crack! No, I'm kidding. And hi, boulders! Boulders in the background. Hello, Cappy. Those guys are Cappy. I don't know all the names of all the Kirby enemies. I only know a couple. Also, really, really easy to miss energy sphere if you just derp along the path, literally. I'm not gonna be cheap, but I'm not gonna take black. I'll keep sword. Sword has a little bit more technique and strategy to it. Oh, geez, hello, rocks. I didn't even notice them. About to fall on me. There's not any edits of me going back to get that first energy sphere during the recording. This is already at 11 minutes, and after this stage is the boss. So, I don't know how long this is going to be before I cut anything. Hopefully it's not too long. And, invincibility! Okay, I'll stop saying this. Also, those archer guys right there, they don't give you any ability. They give you zip dot as well. 
All right, and suddenly we're underground again. Boop. No! Oh, so much for keeping full health. It's like I mentioned in the first episode, when you're Sword Kirby at full health, you shoot sword beams like Blink. I thought that was an easy time. And here we have a uh, item. Uh, throughout the game, there are going to be bun a bunch of items that we'll be able to pick up and take into the environment. As you may have noticed, there was a um, cannon we picked up an episode ago. And uh, we also had made some sandwiches. We'd make the heavy brown. Oh. Anyway, uh, this is the magical tuba shield. Wait a minute. Tuba's a horn. Horn confirmed! No I'm kidding. Horn's actually already confirmed. Play on! Magical trumpet. Play on! I'm actually kind of excited for Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire to be talking about this yet. Because, shocker, I actually have never played third deck. I know I've probably just made a couple people uh, poop themselves, but uh, yeah, I've never played third gen. I've literally played every gen except third. Now, although, I will admit, my journey through second gen was remake. I have actually. Oh, new super ability. This is a uh, super ability of fire. I will admit that, um. Through Johto, that was Heart Gold, through Heart Gold. But I have, for, I do have the original Fire Red. Then uh, I never had really. Ha I, I kind of was never part of the Game Boy Advance handheld era, even though I was around the time of the S64. I didn't get on the handheld bandwagon until the Nintendo DS, the second version, the light, after the really fat, clunky version. But, um, so yeah, and then I got into 4th gen, then I got 5th gen, and now I'm on 6th gen. And now they're finally remaking 3rd gen, so now I'll be able to experience 3rd gen. Although, I am gonna try to, like I did say at the end of my Pokemon YLP, I do wanna do some, uh, Nuzlocke's in, in the future, for the fun of it. Not saying I'll do 3rd gen, because I wanna experience it and remake this. But I don't know, I wanna do a Nuzlocke, randomizer. But anyway guys, I probably shouldn't be talking about- well, I have to talk about it a little bit. I should probably talk about the Super Villain here. This is the Monster Flame. Basically, kind of like the Super Soup for Ultra Sword, it is a screen clearing flaming dragon of death. You hit the one button, and you send a dragon of flaming death to murder your opponents. And actually, this is the end of the uh, Monster Flame section. Also, for some reason, this part of the tree just floats, although you can destroy it. Down here, so the YOLO! Anyway, not more dilly dally. Let's jump into the nebula, in the negative zone, I want to call it. I still have to look that up to see what this is officially called. But anyway, so yeah, uh, Mega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire will be the first time I get to play third gen. So, because I've watched third gen LP, you know, because obviously I think some of you guys know, like Nick, that I watched the King Map and I watched uh, PK Sparks. And I, I watch a good majority of Poké Jesus. So I do know how 3rd gen plays out. And I've also watched Chugga Convoy's Pokemon Emerald LP. So like I just said, I do know how 3rd gen plays out. I just never experienced myself. Although I have used some 3rd gen Pokemon. Like Gardevoir, Pokemon Y, Flygon. So yeah, so it'll be really cool to be able to go to 3rd gen. I guess I'm not OP as hell, I'll use it put myself in a minor disadvantage. I don't actually know how to fight you. Oh my lord! Just look how much- I can literally just stand there and spam up. And kill him. I think- oh my gosh. I think Leaf is worse than Plasma. <laughs> wow. Anyway. But yeah, so Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire will be my first journey for me playing through Hoenn. But, uh, so that's cool. I'm really excited for those Pokemon games. Actually, guys, if I remember correctly, yep, this is the end of the level, as my voice cracked. And now, guys, we're gonna move on to the boss, and then we'll end off this episode. Can I get the one? Can I get the old Mega One? Yes, I can, son! Two music. And also, guys, just as a bit of friendly promotion, I'm not doing this for fame or anything. 
someone else who's also doing a um, Kirby LP, who's also doing a Ruby ROM hack LP on his channel as well. Go check out J YouTube Gamer. I'll uh, link him in the description down below. Really cool PokeTuber. He's doing a side LP. So if you, also, guys, since I'm doing Return to Dreamland, you guys want to see some uh, Triple Deluxe. He's doing Triple Deluxe on his channel. So just as some friendly uh, advertisement, just because I felt like being nice. Because like I don't in I I don't in I I don't interact with him. I just feel like you know letting you guys know about his channel if you don't know about him. He's doing uh, Kirby Triple Deluxe and he's doing Snakewood, which is a a Pokemon Ruby ROM hack with zombies apparently. So go check that out. But I was mainly you know bringing it up so you can see his Kirby Let's Play. But without further ado, guys, let's go into stage five, the boss stage. And also just at the point, listen to this music right here, guys. Is it me, or does that sell a hell of a lot like Metroid? Sounds a lot like Metroid to me. Anyway guys, just like any Kirby game, our first boss is... Oh my god, it's a tree! It's the same old, same old Wispy Woods. Although I do like Wispy Woods really for nostalgia. I actually like and dislike his new iteration in uh, Triple Deluxe, uh, Flowery Woods. They actually made him channel- OH GOD! They actually made him challenging in that game. But, um, it still is the same old Wispy Woods. And, as you guys can see, Oh gosh! Really freaking easy to defeat as usual. Uh huh. Anyway, guys, let's collect our first piece of this lore cut, lore star cutter. So with this guy's now, uh, well actually you could do this way before, you could go to, the, like, as you guys saw me, no I don't want to talk to you again, stop, as you guys saw, you could go back to the lower star cutter, but it would pretty much be locked, you would only be able to run around in this main room here, and go out the main door, but now that we got energy spheres, we can act, I believe it's now that we have energy spheres, we can actually take a look, this is where the copy abilities are, now sadly, actually coming in here, you can pretty much see that this is it for copy abilities. There are only 20 copy abilities. As you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five. 
five per room. So in seven more energy spheres, we'll be able to get the first five set of copy abilities and then be able to get a copy ability and go into a level. So like if there's a certain puzzle that requires a certain ability and you can't get it in the level, you come here, get the ability, and you go back to the level. If the room has the ability you need. But by seeing this, we can only see that there are only 20 abilities in this game. Not a big whoop. It's not the end of the world. But anyway, guys, because we've got super abilities, although they, those are not in the room. So that makes up for that. Coming down here, we have sub games, which are locked. Oh, we only have two more away from the Japanese looking one. And then over here, we have challenge room. challenges. This is what Magalore was talking about. So far, we had the start, the start. Sword challenge. These are challenges for the different Kirby abilities. So like here we got bomb. We've got this. Is, I'm not gonna say this. This is actually brand new ability to this game. So I'll wait till we get that ability, which will probably be in the next episode. So we have bomb, high jump, um, new ability down there. Sword right here. Uh, I want to say this is feather or flying Kirby, the bird Kirby. I think this is normal Kirby. That's like you get, this is probably the last thing you unlock, and then this is another new ability. You guys can probably make it out what it is. It's not as covered up as the bottom one. But anyway, guys, with that, we have finished Cookie Country and have collected all 13 energy spheres in this world, in that world, or level, as it's called. And next time, guys, on Kirby's Return to Dreamland, we will be venturing off to N Raisin Ruins. I almost said level of another level. The like, title of another level. Spoiled something. Whoops! We're going to be going off to Raisin Ruins. I almost said something else. So, if you got, as always guys, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to smash the like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!